All right, we're back at it with part two of how to crowdfund your film. Story time. One time I did a $50,000 Kickstarter. Go watch these two Kickstarters and you'll get some sense of how much work running a crowdfunding campaign is. It's, it's insane how much work it is. And as somebody who has, uh, you know, raised money for companies and movies before, I can tell you that a crowdfunding campaign is one of the hardest ways to raise money. By far the most effective uh, method of raising money for a crowdfunding campaign is an email campaign outside of the main Kickstarter updates. So just personal email outreach to people one-on-one, -on -one, asking them for their support. Uh, also following up with phone calls or texts in a very nice way. It's essentially sales. You're doing sales like you're selling advertising or something. For the most people, I would think of raising money via a Kickstarter uh, as valuable in this sense. If you have people that are already going to give you money, right, then a Kickstarter is a nice, positive way to ask them to give you that money. So it's easy to ask your parents for a hundred bucks, but it's harder to ask like your friend's parents for a hundred bucks, right? But if they get a link to a Kickstarter and they know you, they might donate a hundred bucks and it's, it's a little easier for you and them. It's not quite as awkward. But when you're asking people for money, you want that awkwardness, okay? That's a pressure that allows you to use the norms of society to get them to donate more money than they otherwise would. And you want to be nice about it. You don't want to pressure anybody. You just want nice, happy reminders, and you want to be excited and just, this is awesome. I would love for you to be a part of this. I'm really pumped about the project. But I can tell you that uh, we would have raised the $50,000 just via the email and phone call campaigns we did without Kickstarter. And we would not have had to pay the Kickstarter fee. So if I had to do something similar again, I would probably just you know, pay 15 bucks and build a Squarespace website and then go about an email campaign and post updates that way. Uh, it just seems like a better way. But make no mistake, it is a lot of work to do a Kickstarter. A lot of work. So please, please, please think about it before you do it. Really, the only uh, scenario where I would wholeheartedly recommend uh, doing a Kickstarter campaign is if you already have an established audience. Like if you have a couple million followers on TikTok, like you're going to have people donate to it. And in that sense, a Kickstarter campaign would be an incredible tool uh, to engage that audience, to invite them in and allow them to be, you know, an executive producer on your project. I think the misconception I wanted to spell is that crowdfunding is an easy way to get free money. It is a very difficult, labor-intensive way to get free money.